Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. A hearty welcome to the celebration of the Passion of the Lord. This celebration is divided into three parts. The first part will be of the liturgy of the Word, and the second part will be of the veneration of the cross, and the third will be the Eucharist, distribution of the Eucharist. In the brothers and sisters, this one request, all those who have crosses in your house, trying to keep your cross closer to you, when you venerate the cross, at the time of kissing, you can kiss the cross which is in your house. Remember your mercy is the Lord, and with your eternal protection, sanctify your servants for whom Christ your Son, by the shedding of his blood, establish the past and mystery, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Because he poured out his soul to the death, 
and was numbered the first places. With the goal the safety of many and made the intercession for the translations. This is the word of the Lord. I speak to God. The response, Father, into your hands I turn my spirit. Father, into your hands I turn my spirit. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Into your hands I turn my spirit. It is you who shall be my Lord. The response, Father, into your hands I turn my spirit. Father, into your hands I command my spirit. And the face of all my foes, I am reproach and object of strong to my neighbors. I am of fear to my friends. The response, Father, into your hands I command my spirit. Father, into your hands I command my spirit. Those see me in the street, run far away from me. I am like a dead man, forgetting the man's hearts. Like a thing thrown away. The response, Father, into your hands I command my spirit. Father, into your hands I command my spirit. But as for me, I trust in your Lord. I say, You are my God, my life is your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. The response, Father, into your hands I come in my spirit. Father, into your hands I come in my spirit. Let your face shine on your servant. Say me in your love. Be strong, let your heart take courage. I am hard to hope in the Lord. The response, Father, into your hands I come in my spirit. Father, into your hands I come in my spirit.
infinite among them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they know that he fell on the ground. He asked them a second time, Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus the Nazarene. Jesus replied, I have told you that I am he. If I am the one you are looking for, let these others go. This was to fulfill the words he had spoken. Not one of those who gave me had lost Simon Peter, who had served him and had struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant named him as Marcus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword back in its cover. Am I not to bring the cup that the Father has given me? The cup and its redoing, and the Jewish guards, sweet Jesus and bound him. They took him first to Anas, from Anas, who was the father in the Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who was coming to Jesus. It is better that a man to die for people. Simon Peter, the other disciple, followed Jesus. This disciple, who was known to the high priest, went to Jesus into the high priest's palace. But Peter stayed outside the door. So the other disciples, the one known to the high priest, went out, spoke to the doorkeeper, and brought Peter in. The girl on duty at door said to Peter, Are you the brother of that man's disciple? He easily answered, I am. Now it was school, and the servant and the guards had the taken charcoal fire, and were standing there warming themselves. So Peter stood there too, warming himself with others. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and teachings. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly for all the world to hear. I have always taught you not in the synagogue and in the temple, where all the Jews meet together. I have said nothing in secret. Why ask me, ask my ears what I talk? They know what I said. At this verse, one of the dogs standing by him, Jesus is slapped in the face, saying, Is that the way you answer the priest? Jesus replied, If there is some offense in what I said, point it out. But if not, why do you strike me? Then Anas sent him down to Caiaphas, the high priest, as Simon Peter stood there, warning himself to someone's opinion. Aren't you the brother of this disciples? He denied it, saying, I am the one of the high priest's servants, a legitimate man, whose ear Peter had cut off said. Did I see you in the garden with him? Again Peter denied it, and once he caught road, then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas to the Petroleum. It was in the morning. They had go to the Petroleum, then so they were becoming defiant, and unable to eat the castle. So Pilate came outside and then and said, What charges will you bring against this man? They replied, If you have not a criminal, we should have not handed over to you. Pilate said, Take him yourselves and try him by your own law. The Jews answered, We are not allowed to put anyone to death. This was the fulfilled words Jesus had spoken indicating the way he was going to come. So Pilate then went to the Praetorium and called Jesus to him and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, Did you ask this of your own accord, or have others said it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? It is your own people and the chief priests who have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus replied, Mine is not the kingdom of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my men would have fought to prevent my being surrendered to the Jews. As it is, my kingdom does not belong here. Pilate said, So then you are a king. Jesus answered, It is you who say that I am a king. I was born for this. I came into the world for this, to bear witness to the truth. And all who are on the side of the truth listen to my voice. Pilate said, Truth, what is that? And so saying, he went out again to the Jews and said, I find no case against him, but according to a custom of yours, I should release one prisoner at the Passover. Would you like me then to release for you the king of the Jews? And this they shouted. 
Not this man, but Barabbas. Barabbas was a bandit, pilot, and, and Jesus taken away from his church. And after his shoulders twisted some thorns into a crown and put it in his head and dressed it in a purple robe, they kept coming, saying, up and saying, Hey, King of the Jews! And slapping in the face, Pilate came out and again and said to them, Look, I am going to bring him out to you to let you see that I find no case against him. Jesus then came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said, Here is the man. When they saw him, the chief priest in the town shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said, Take him yourselves and crucify him. The Jews replied, We have the law, and according to the law, he ought to be put to death, because he has claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard them say, This fears increased, we had been the Praetorian, he said to Jesus, Where do you come from? But Jesus made no answer. Pilate then said to him, Are you refusing to speak to me? Surely you know I have power to release you, and I have power to crucify you. Jesus replied, You will have no power over me at all if it had not been given you to my power. That is why the man who handed me over to you has to get the credit. From that moment, Pilate was anxious to set him free, but the Jews shouted, If you set him free, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who makes himself king is defying Caesar. During this verse, Pilate had Jesus brought up and seated him in the chair of judgment at a place called Payment in the room of Gabbatha. It was day of preparation, about the sixth hour. Pilate said to the Jews, Here is your king. But they shouted, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king except Caesar. So at the Pilate handed him over to him to be crucified. Then they took the child of Jesus and carried his own cross. He went to the place of the skull, as it called in Hebrew Burga. Where they crucified him with two others, one on the other side, being in the middle. Pilate wrote out the notice and it is fixed to the cross. It ran, Jesus the Nazareth, King of Jews. This notice was said by many of the Jews because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city and the writing was in both Latin and Greek. So the Jewish chief priest said to Pilate, You should not write King of the Jews, but that man said, I am the King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had finished crucifying Jesus, they took his clothing divided into four shares, one for each soldier, His garment was seamless, woven in one place from neck to him. So they said to one another, Instead of tearing it, let's throw dice to decide who is to have it. In this way, the word of scripture was fulfilled. They divided my garments among them and cast lots of my clothes. That is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Flores, Mary of Magdala, Seeing his mother and disciple, whom he loved standing near him, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into home. After this, Jesus knew that everything now had been completed, and so the scriptures should be completed for the he said, I am thirsty. A jar full of salt, salt wine, stood there, so putting the spawns, Soak in the wine of as of stick, they held up to his mouth. After Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is fulfilled. Let's all close our eyes for a moment and lay down and pray. Mbamak is that he gave up in spirit. Please note, it was deep. It was day of preparation, and the white God is remaining on the cross during the Sabbath. 
since Sabbath was a day of special solemnity, the Jews aspired to have the legs broken and the body stricken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke his legs of the first man who had been crucified with him, and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they saw he was already dead, and so instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with the lamps, and immediately they came on that of water. This was the evidence of one who saw its true evidence that he knows that what he says is true, he gave his to me that he believed as well. Because all this happened to fulfill the words of scripture, not one bone of his will be broken. Again in another place, scripture says, then we look at the one who has spears. After this, Joseph and Arnathia, who was disciple of Jesus, threw a sacred one because he was afraid of the Jews, asked Pilate to him remove the body of Jesus. Pilate gave permission, so they came and took it away. Nicodemus came as well, the same one who had first come to Jesus at night time. He brought a nature of man and those, and weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen clothes, with of species, spices, following the Jewish burial customs. At the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, in which one was yet to be buried. Since it was a Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was nearby, they gave Jesus day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God. Brothers and sisters, there were three trees in a forest. There was a spray tree reaching up to the sky. There was another tree which was a little bent. The third tree was having no shape. It was crooked in all its shape. These three trees had their own wishes. The straight tree had a dream and said, If I am cut down, I want to be in the palace where the king is seated. I want to become a throne for the king. And the second tree said, I have a desire of traveling all over the world. Therefore, I wish that after the company they make me a big boat so that I can travel into different countries. And the third tree was so silent and was feeling so ashamed of his shape. And then he did not express himself and said, I am my longer and I don't know what happens when I cut down. I will become dry and I will be here. My dear brothers and sisters, after many years, these tea trees were cut down. As their wishes were, the first one was taken and made a, a throne to the king. And the second tree was taken and made into a boat. But the third tree, which was lying in its own place, and they took this wood and then they made the cross for Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Lord Jesus, what is the Lord Jesus made a blessing what is to be considered as a curse. The Lord Jesus on the whom on, on the which a span is to be split is to be done, he made it to be of kissing one. And what is that? It's the cross. My brothers and sisters, the cross during the time of Jesus was considered to be a worst punishment. Putting a person on the cross was a worst punishment and it is to be put only for the uh, great criminals. But today, in this liturgy, we're going to kiss that cross. We're going to venerate that cross. 
And who made the difference? It is Jesus who made the difference. And the brothers and sisters, today be Good Friday. You now, when someone dies in your family on a Monday, you don't call it a Good Monday. Or when somebody dies on Tuesday, you don't call it Good Tuesday. In the same way, when somebody dies, why do you call it? When Jesus died on Friday, why do we call it as a Good Friday? Because it is by Jesus' death we are all born again. It is through His death that we are regaining life into heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, we hear that a lamb was chosen, and on it the people had laid their hands. And then they put the sins on the lamb, and the lamb was led to slaughter. And the same lamb, John the Baptist, when Jesus was coming to receive baptism, John the Baptist proclaims and tells, Behold, this is the lamb of God who is going to come and take away the sins of the world. He refers as a lamb to Jesus, and that lamb. Jesus as a lamb, he goes and then gives himself to die on the cross. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to be happy. We need to be, it is a good Friday because Jesus has died for all of us. He has taken all of our sins and then he has died on the cross. There was there is a real story of a person. You know, during the Nazi war, this man being a priest, priest, and all men being killed according to their time. And then when the when a person came and he was about to be killed, a person, a priest came forward and said, Instead of him, I will die. Instead of him, I will die because he has a family, he has children with his wife. Therefore, instead of him, I will go and die. And later on, the person who has escaped, who has escaped his death, said, I have to be in that place, but the priest has saved my life. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, we are supposed to be on the cross because of our father, our forefather, Adam. We need to be on the cross. We need to go to hell. But Jesus has taken that place and then saved all of us. And anyway, not any other way to hell. Rather, he has led all of us into heaven. And that's the reason, my dear brothers and sisters, we call this today as a Good Friday. This Friday as Good Friday because the heavens which were closed with the sin of the Adam are uh, reopened again with the death of Jesus Christ. And that's why St. Paul clearly tells in one of his letters that through the death, through the sin of the old Adam, every one of us have fallen into sin and we have regained we, we have death. But because of new Adam, one new Adam, Jesus Christ, we have again regained that life and heaven. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, and that's why in the last words we have heard in the gospel today, after Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. It is finished. What he meant by finished, he has accomplished, accomplished the work which was entrusted to him. The salvation, the salvific plan of his father is completely accomplished. He has fulfilled this dream of his father by coming out of his earth, taking the form of a slave, and that too, dying on the cross, and liberating all of us. And then he has taken all of us, or shown the place for all of us in heaven. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, today is a day to rejoice. Today is a day that we honor the cross on which Jesus died. Therefore, immediately after this, we will have the veneration of the cross and it was all of you to take up your crosses in whatever the small crosses that you have. If you don't have a big cross, a small cross which may be in your neck or maybe for your finger or as 
the rosary, bring, you have a cross, whatever you have. You know, with reverence, with reverence, please kiss the cross, because it is through that cross we all gain salvation. It is through that cross we are going to enter into heaven. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, let's all close your eyes and pray and thank God for His coming up in this earth and His death on this earth so that we be we are again alive by His death. Let's all close your eyes and pray. Now we should have the song intercessions. And after each intercession, we need, and then when the intercession is over, we all stand and be silent and pray. For the Holy Church. Let us pray here in the Lord for the Holy Church of God. That our God and God be pleased to keep her peace, to God and to unite her to all the whole world, and grant that, leading our life in tranquility and quiet, we may glorify God, the Father of the Almighty. Let's all pray in silence. Almighty and ever living God, who in Christ revealed your glory to all the nations, watch over the works of your mercy, that your church spread throughout all the world, may persevere with steadfast faith in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the poor. Let us pray also for our most holy Father, Pope Francis, that our God and Lord who chose him. For the order of the bishops, they came to save and unarm for the Lord's holy church to come the holy people of God. So we Almighty oh, never living God, by whose decree all things are founded, look with favor on our prayers and in your kindness protect the Pope chosen for us, that underneath the Christian people governed by you. Yeah. 
will kindly on your flock of your son, that those who want baptism and consecrated may be joined together by unity of faith and unity in the bond of charity through Christ our Lord.
Behold, on this foot of the cross, our Jesus has drawn me. Come, let us Behold the wood of the cross on which our Jesus, our Saviour, is hung. Come, let us adore Him. My brothers and sisters, all those who have crosses, thank you. Kiss the cross in which our Jesus saved us from and brought his salvation to all of us. As we kiss the, as we kiss the cross, pray for the whole world, especially for this coronavirus to end. Lord, who has shed his blood on the cross, may he wipe away every virus of this earth. Now we enter into the third part of the celebration, the Holy Communion. Let us say this command formed by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am honored to be in the presence of the Lord. Lord, I am honored to be in the presence of the Lord. Silence of our hearts, although we are not able to receive Jesus, and yet we have a privilege, and we are privileged because of the day of our baptism, Jesus has entered into the hearts of all of us, and His learning is still within us. In spirit, thank the Lord for the celebration, for His death on the cross. and for the salvation to all of us. As we pray, pray for the families, that the love and the, the precious blood that Jesus shed on the cross, for all our salvation, for our sanctification, for our purification, for our forgiveness of sins. May we shower on our families, on our areas, on our country, on our state, and on the whole world, that this mercy of the Lord cleanses of all kinds of virus in this world, and may be free from this deadly virus, and may we begin in the Lord of life. Yeah. 